When making a determination whether to treat your trees to protect them from emerald ash borer, the very first place to begin is to determine if you have an ash or not. So put down the newspaper, head out to the yard, and these are some tips that you might use to, to, to identify your, your trees. In Iowa, we have four predominant species, white ash, green ash, blue ash, and black ash. All fantastic trees, but of course, all are very susceptible to the emerald ash borer. All ash tend to have uh, large canopies. They're large canopy trees with multiple stems, uh, but, uh, but large shade trees in, in the landscape. But they have a couple of uh, factors that are, that are consistent between species. One is that they all have opposite buds. That is, the buds oppose each other on the stem. Very, very easy to see. Secondly, if you look at a leaf, <clears throat> the leaves are composed of leaflets. We call this a compound leaf. So it, typically with ash, we have five to seven leaflets per leaf, another very great ID feature. Just keep in mind that these are large deciduous shade trees where the bark tends to be smooth when, when they're young and it tends to roughen up with age. In fact, a great ID feature with green ash is that the bark tends to take on, on a diamond shape as the plant gets older. Large, beautiful plants, yellow fall color on green ash, kind of a purplish color on white ash. Uh, yellow is also predominant on black and blue ash. Fantastic trees, but make sure you're identifying the tree first before you treat for emerald ash borer. It can be difficult to tell if an ash tree is infested with emerald ash borer, but by looking at the symptoms, we can usually tell if it's likely that there is an infestation.